Higher refrigerator troubleshooting. If you're looking for help fixing your higher refrigerator, look no further. Our comprehensive higher refrigerator troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Higher wine cellar not coming on not running. If your wine cellar is not working at all, verify the wine cellar is plugged into a working outlet. Check if there is power to the wall outlet. Make sure the unit is turned on and that the thermostat control is set to a cold temperature setting. Higher refrigerator too cold food freezing. If food is frozen in the fresh food section in a full size or compact refrigerator, the temperature is set too low. Set a slightly higher temperature. Verify that nothing is blocking the vents where the cold air is coming out or being sucked in. Check that nothing is blocking air circulation and remove any item that is close to the air vents. Higher refrigerator not coming on not running. If your refrigerator is not working at all, verify the refrigerator is plugged into a working outlet. Check if there is power to the wall outlet. Make sure the unit is turned on and that the thermostat control is set to a cold temperature setting. Higher odor in refrigerator or freezer. Your refrigerator or chest upright freezer does not contain any mechanical parts that will produce an odor. When the unit is new, there is a plastic odor because most components inside are made plastic. This odor will dissipate with time. Odors can also come from improperly wrapped or sealed food in the unit. Cleaning the inside of the unit may be necessary. Do not use bleach or ammonia. This can crack or damage the unit liner. Cleaning products with a lemon scent are not recommended because the lemon scent may be permanently absorbed in the plastic parts of the unit and may affect the food. Higher refrigerator leaking water on floor. If you find water on the floor in front of your refrigerator. If your model has an ice maker. Make sure the water line to the refrigerator or refrigerator water valve on the back is not leaking. Leaking from the ice maker or water valve would require service. It may be due to a clogged defrost drain tube. This would require service to fix. Higher refrigerator ice maker not making ice. Under nominal conditions the ice maker should harvest every 60-90 minutes. Repeated door openings during that cycle will extend the time between harvests. As every time you open the door you are allowing warm air in and cool air out. If the built-in ice maker in the refrigerator is not working. Check the following. Check the water supply to verify it is connected and turned on. Verify the ice maker is switched on. Verify that all air has been bled from the system. Verify the water pressure meets the minimum requirements, 20 to 60 psi. It takes about 48 hours for a new refrigerator's temperature to stabilize, during this time ice production will be slower. Check to make sure the ice cubes have not stuck together. Remove the ice maker bucket and check that the tray does not have one big block of ice in it. Ensure the freezer is cold enough to make ice. The temperature has to be 10 F or colder in the freezer. The ice maker can take up to 24 hours to make ice from the time the freezer is first switched on. Higher refrigerator running too much. Modern refrigerators save energy by running longer. But at a slower speed. Most of the energy used in a refrigerator is from starting the compressor. These are factors that contribute to a refrigerator running too frequently or too long. The compressor will run longer after the initial installation or after a long power outage. The refrigerator will run more if the room has high humidity or high temperature. Doors may have been opened frequently or for an extended period of time. Warm food may have been placed in the fresh food or freezer compartment. Check the gasket for a proper seal. Make sure it is not damaged.